Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. Today I'm going to show you how to make any surface into a watercolour surface. So I used this scrap of plywood that I had sitting around and I drilled a little just hanging hole in the back before I started doing anything else. Usually you can't paint watercolour on anything other than paper because it's not absorbent enough. But when I was working in an art shop a couple of years ago I had a customer come in and say that she'd seen somewhere like a ground that you could paint onto things and it made it absorbent like paper. And I haven't actually tried any of the pre-made grounds, but I thought I'd have a go at making one myself. Now these are the ingredients that you're going to need to make the ground. First I'm going to start by making a gesso, and then I'm going to add some bicarbonate soda, which is the packet that says bread soda here, to make it into the ground. So for the gesso I have French chalk, which is also called calcium carbonate. I have some PVA glue, which is just a normal white synthetic glue. I have some titanium white acrylic paint just to give the ground some colour and I have a jar, a mixing bowl and some pantyhose to strain the gesso through. I started by putting about a third of a cup of the PVA into my bowl and then I added an equal amount of the French chalk and mixed that up. And to that I eyeballed just an amount of the titanium white paint. I mixed that all together and it was feeling a bit gritty and thick so I mixed in a little bit of water to get it to the consistency that I like my gesso to be. It was looking a bit grey at this point so I added a little more titanium white paint and then I strained it through some pantyhose into a jar. And that's it, that's my gesso. I made this little testing board to just try out the different variations of the, the ground that I'm making. So I made one box for gesso which you can see it's not particularly absorbent, the, the watercolour kind of ran on the surface. And then I just started adding a teaspoon of the bicarb soda at a time and trialling it so that I could see how well it was absorbing. Now bicarb soda is actually an abrasive, so you've got to be careful with your brushes when you're using this because you know you don't want to ruin them. A lot of people say that you should use synthetic brushes for this. I don't actually really have any synthetic brushes, which I know is a good problem to have. So I'm using my good brushes and just keeping them nice and clean. Now here I went straight from 3 teaspoons of the soda to 5 teaspoons of the soda, which I felt was actually a little much. I probably would have been better off if I'd just stuck with 4. Anyway, I sanded down my, my block while that was drying and sprayed both sides with a varnish just to stop any warping and stop any moisture from getting in. And then with my little test patches here, I sanded one side and left the other side rough. And I much preferred the sanded side, so I'm going to sand my panel down after I've gessoed it so that it's nice and smooth to paint on. Now here you're just, you're just priming your panel like you would any other painting panel if you've ever primed a painting panel before. Do a few coats, sand lightly between coats if you want to, I just sanded once at the end. Now for what I'm going to paint on the panel, I did a little visit to the Irish Museum to look at their birds because birds are really hard to see still in nature. Like I see a lot of them when I'm walking but not that many actually that I can see close up. And my iPhone camera is not really good enough to capture those so I went to the museum and did some drawings. And now I'm going to paint my little coltit. Now for this project I'm just using my usual set of three brushes that I normally use which is a Raphael 8404 sable brush which I use a size 4 usually which is the bigger brush and I've just used that here for my major blocking out. I use a size 0 which is the main brush that I'm using in this one which is just a very small or not very small but quite a small round brush which is good for detail but also you can do a bit of blocking out and stuff as well. And then I have a really fine little brush, I think it's like a 6-0 or something, which I'm just using to do some of the really fine little details.
I should apologize Got stuck in my throat Or something This is an awkward time Would you prefer a note Or something Now this is sort of like my usual watercolour style and the great thing about this type of ground is you don't really need to mask anything out if you want to add highlights later. Because the, the soda in the mixture is abrasive, you can just use a wet brush or a wet bit of cloth or, or paper or something to wipe back mistake. your paint as you work and create highlights, it's really cool. And that's it, the painting's all ready to, to hang on the wall, just as is. That's it, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project and found it useful. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment if you liked this video, and stay tuned for more creative projects and different ideas that you can do in your studio on Workspace. Cheers, bye.